Hey YouTube, you've not actually seen this guitar before, although you have seen similar. I, a couple of years ago, I, actually it was one, it was one of the necks that I got back from China, so it had a, had a maple neck. I had a, 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 a Sonic Blue um, strap body and a neck, and I had these pickups that came from a no, Tesco, and I put them in it thinking they were pretty cool. Um, and my pal Ronnie was like, oh, get, get. so... He's got it. Actually, that other guitar, I don't know, did I even do a video on it? When I put like a, a Japanese Telecaster neck pickup or bridge pickup, it's like a crazy looking one in the middle position because it had the two Tesco ones. So, same again. This time these are, I mean, Ronnie paid quite a lot for them. Uh, more than I would have paid for the guitar, to be honest. For these two square pickups, and this one here is out of a Jetson. I they're very similar apart from a slightly different shape so i think they might actually be exactly the same manufacturer and the same pickup just one year they decided well we'll, we'll not make them square anymore we'll make them round or vice versa so what happens when you put because there is a thing about these old you know, people talk about gold foil pickups and all stuff like that kind of that sort of that kind of thing so what happens when you put them in a proper guitar um they worked really well last time, um, so that's basically what we've got again. It's, it's even the same colour, it's the same, it's, this, this guitar isn't mine. Um, so I think this is a, 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 I'm sure they said it was a, it's a serial number ICS 12, so 2000, so 10 years old, there you go. 2012, 14, really? Is that old? Okay, I'm assuming that's how the serial numbers work. Um, the tuners on it are awful, my god I've not seen, I've not come across tuners as bad for ages. They're like pure. <coughs> but it appears to be holding. I've not put new strings on it. This is basically just a tester. I'm not yet done. I wanted to put the pickups in. Obviously, try to cut the holes. I had to cut the scratch plate out here. Had to, they're actually height adjustable now, which you never got with them. Um, originally, these things used to bolt onto scratch plates. So it's like, oh, you want to put, they want to pick up higher? Tough. You want it lower? Tough. You know, it's like get the chisel out kind of thing. So here we go, neck pickup. This is one of your Tesco one. This guitar is not set up yet. I'm still not decided exactly how I'm doing it yet. New strings is definitely one of the things. The strings are probably 10 year old. But the problem with um, these guitars, you know, it's like your Jack White, I always call them quirky guitars, is the guitars are often really shit, I'm sorry, I know they look really cool, and there's some, some of them kind of work out alright, but they're all a real compromise, it's not, they're not, they're not a real guitar, you know, these Tesco's and Sakai's and all that nonsense, um, they do do a thing, but I mean, you're, you know, they don't have intonable bridges, and they're completely unadjustable, and, uh, <laughs> This way you get a, a like it was just a square strap. Um, yeah, not as loud as I would expect. Maybe I could maybe raise the pickups up a little bit. Session twos, which is like you know, these two. Strats, strats don't generally do that, do they? Middle position. What I've noticed is the volume control seems to. I wonder, is that an alpha pot? Is that what it is? It is the original pots from this guitar, but some cheap guitars. And there was a time when Squire did not make the best guitars. All Squire. I mean, I bought, buy one now, or one from the last sort of five years. Yeah. You should have a. I think I don't think they make crap ones and haven't done for years. But there were times in the past when you did get pure shit squires. The tuners on this, I mean, okay, they look like that, you know, the sort of enclosed type. But that doesn't not necessarily mean they're shit. I mean, some of my best guitars have them on them, you know, like old Japanese guitars where they, like they make them out of metal rather than making them out of the cheapest possible thing that's shiny. Um, bridge. I 
guys, it does kind of sound like one of those old guitars, doesn't it? You're going back into the times when people didn't have distortion. Distortion was a bad thing, so you were basically kind of electric guitar for the masses, but obviously you, you still had your Hank Marvins and all that, but the majority it was like, oh, it means you can play pop hits of the time through an amplifier that's louder than acoustic, so these these pickups were kind of designed, oh, those old um, auditions and stuff were kind of designed as acoust loud acoustics, kind of almost, not really electric guitars. But they do have a jangle that, um, but I, I just noticed a, a strap bridge pickup. I think I did two. Nice bit of microphony, microphony as well. That's where the spark comes in, isn't it? I, to be honest, I, I don't do uh, commission work for any well things of projects of this scale uh, for anybody else. I do them for myself. Uh, it's purely because I wanted to see. It. I, I was quite interested in this, and the last one worked. Um, it's like the amount of effort and time. There's no way you could ever make any money doing this because of the amount of time it takes trying to do develop things that don't exist. You know, it's like how, how do you make? Having to find extremely long screws and routing out the inside to take these big pickups because they just don't fit. It's, you know, talking about, oh, I, like, oh, I couldn't get my hot reel to fit your strat. All right, I know. F try to get the chisel out and the Dremel and all that and try and make these things work. Um, 
I think this actually does have a tremolo arm in the case as well, I wonder if it fits. Also you notice that the I've just put a, a, a wee bolt in that hole where the volume control should be. There might be a possibility of um, just moving the hole. Have I got enough there? I wonder if I should do it or not. Yeah, I wonder if I could. No. I don't think that would look too bad, actually. I might just do that. I might just um, kind of move the hole so that you, this, the, the knob covers up the, the gap. I think that would probably look better. I don't like, I don't like just having a bolt or a... An unused hole, it doesn't look too bad, it's, it's, you know, it's obviously not, you can't see it because of the stupid light in here. At least it's not the light that makes me look like a vampire. Um, I was noticing yesterday, I did, I did that, that big long video, I did notice that I put on the, the daylight bulb, and I was looking at it going, oh my god, am I, my, my lips black went through and looked in the mirror? No, it's the, it's the, the light in here. Mm, I'm not really, um, I don't have, I don't know, was it, what was it you call when you did like, look like the penguin? Even though, oh, I need to watch that. Bob told me to watch that penguin thing. I've never seen it. I'm talking about Danny DeVito penguin. Yeah, so um, my pal wants a, a Gilmore switch in it as well, which I don't actually have a push pull pot, but that might be. I think I might go into that. Um, if I'm not off it. That volume control seems to be very. Um, just because it was a Squire one, I figured it was the right one. I looked to see if it was a 250, which it was, but I mean, there we go. So there we are at 8 and 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah, it's like. See, it just seems to be the long. But I would just go back to my my um the same argument I always have with my pal John Carter, who's a lovely guy and an amazing guitarist, but he's totally wrong with, well no, he's not wrong, he likes strange things, he's like up here, oh no no no, and he's like, no no, it's definitely beta pots you want for tones and alphas you want for volume, no, he's like, oh, I always do that, and he explained to me because it was audio taper and all that, and you're like, I, I, I know, I, I do understand the, you know, how, how those graphs work with the audio taper and all that, and the logarithmic, because it goes with your ear, blah, 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 instead of, being, instead of being linear. But what it means is if you use alpha pots for your volume control, it means you've got 10, 9, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then when you get to 8, it's kind of thinking about being at half volume. And then between 8 and 10, it's whoom! You know what I mean? Which, I think, see, for doing your Ying Wee Malmsteen volume swells, it probably worked really well. I know uh, Van Halen did that. Um, I just feel like it gives you no... It means you've got to have the volume on your amp set really well, so you can you can actually use that. But just be able to just turn it down one, and it goes from... There you go, there's eight, seven, ten, seven, ten. That is, of course, assuming that this guitar is all original. There was something funny about it, the three pickups that were in it. Um, they're not really obvious to see. Uh, there's not two screws there. But the, I don't know, is it actually going to show up? Uh, the light's too bad. How can I get it so you can... There, you can actually see there. See that um, one of them is uh, cream and the other two are white, making you think they're probably not original. They kind of look, look similar, but what I did notice is the bridge and the neck um, are repellent. So that's not right. Um... It attaches just to that one. There's, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how the magnets in this work. How can right? So that one there, right? No, it's it's not sticking to the same. How can they both stick to that, right? But this one doesn't stick. To, this one doesn't want to stick to that one. I don't really understand. Uh, I don't think they're the original pickups anyway. Um, 
or something's been changed. So it's possible the pots have been messed about with or something. Uh, the guitar doesn't give the impression of ever having been played. There's no fretware on it. Um, it's kind of got that... <sighs> been lying for a long time so I think maybe it's been lying for years uh, just unloved it just it needs it needs to be the, the actual guitar needs to be brought back to life it needs new strings it needs a setup but I wanted to see if the see if these pickups were working obviously the wires have been changed in these things as well so it was like third attempt to get three wires and it's like yeah green black will be earth won't it no green's earth um, and then they've been changing this one, so out of phase, and then it's all off. Oh, uh. The phase might actually work quite well with this guitar, though. I mean, to be honest, I would actually say that, well, it's hard to tell. I don't know what kind of volume we're talking about here, if you're comparing this to if I plugged in one of the other guitars. Um, I might have just got used to the fact, maybe it's not very loud. Um, We want to play chords though. Yeah, so if you, I don't know if this is really a worthwhile project to do. Um, once the guitar's up and running, it'll be interesting and cool. I mean, a lot you pay a lot of money for guitars that have got, I'm not going to say intentionally bad pickups, but have you ever played a Gretsch? Oh, no, they're not bad. They're not bad pickups. They've got the Gretsch sound, which means that basically if you're jamming with your pals and you've got a Gretsch, then and you're playing your SG, your Les Paul, or your Strat, or something like that, and then you go into the Gretsch, just remember to get that volume control on, on the amp, um, which is kind of what this is going for. Yeah, so I mean, I think it looks quite cool. It's amazing how, just by putting those pickups, because I mean, this is a Squire Strat, it's amazing how it doesn't look like a Squire anymore, it now looks like a Watkins Rapier, or some sort of crazy thing, um, but yeah, fun, fun, fun. I wish you used to be able to pick these things up for peanuts, I remember buying auditions and all that for a tenner and twenty quid and just basically chopping them up and selling them, you know, so you're doing stuff to them, but I mean that's just they are cool, Jack White would love this sort of crap rock on